school shooting in Atlanta. What a scary way to start the school year. Only the second week in Atlanta. All the kids you see running out of the school there are safe. If you could actually hear that gunfire, there it is right there, ring across the neighborhood. It was all caught on tape. Really just so incredible that we are seeing this again. So many emotional reunions between very anxious parents, their terrified children, hugging each other, crying after the ordeal was over. ABC's Steve Osinsami is live in Decatur, Georgia, in front of the grade school with all the latest. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Lara. Students are not going to be returning to this school today. Instead, they're heading to the high school with the big kids. Police are here turning parents away while they continue to investigate. This morning, the man accused of shooting up the school has a face and a name. ABC News has learned he's Michael Brandon Hill, a 20-year-old with a history of mental health issues. Overnight, police searched Hill's home, the bomb squad blowing open his trunk. This frightening and all too familiar scene began just after 1245 Tuesday. Police say the young man followed someone through the doors of Atlanta's Ronald E. McNair Academy, where over 800 children were attending pre-K through fifth grade. He headed straight for the front office, armed with an assault weapon and other guns, and met bookkeeper Antoinette Tuff. He said that he didn't have any reason to live and that he knew he was going to die today. Minutes later, cafeteria manager Malcolm Quillen walked in. Ms. Tuff told me that the gentleman was serious about me following his instructions. As soon as she said the word serious, he just fired the gun off into the wall. Quillen says the gunman told him to leave, and he did. I called my principal, told him that there was a gunman in the building. Call 911. The disturbed young man asked Tuff to call our local ABC affiliate, WSB. She said, he wants you to start filming as police officers die. Just after 1 p.m., with students hiding under their desks, police surrounded the school, and Hill started firing. He possibly fired anywhere from a half a dozen shots, and when officers had a clear shot, they returned fire. Sound like it was a shootout. The shootout shattered a window, but no one was hurt. As police moved in, frantic teachers rushed students out. Back in the office, that angel of a bookkeeper kept the shooter away from those classrooms, telling him that she loved him and finally convincing him to put his weapons down. Her whispers got him to surrender to police. It took two long hours to bust those terrified, teary students to a nearby Walmart where nervous parents were waiting. Overnight, in an exclusive interview, Hill's brother told us he was a ticking time bomb. I had a feeling he was going to eventually one day do something stupid, but not this magnitude. He told us his brother's pharmacy, his brother's medicine cabinet, looked like a pharmacy and that he got into trouble young, first stealing from schools and then breaking into churches. 